up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i thought i would do like a little chill like laid back like not wearing makeup just got back from the gym video but i got this idea last night and i got really excited about it so i wanted to film it for you guys so if you watched my apartment tour which i don't know when i'm gonna post this but it was a while ago probably um in my apartment tour i said that one day i would give you guys a vanity tour and kind of like makeup collection organization video and last night i came up with this idea where i'm gonna take those um like shelving units like the little like drawers that i bought from ikea they're in my office, they work, like I like them in there, but I also feel like it doesn't fit the space well. I don't use them as much as I could be. So I think I'm gonna try to put them in here and put them like under my desk and organize my makeup that way. Cause like, I like seeing all my stuff, but I also feel like it gets like really messy. And now that I have drawers, I can actually like put stuff in them. So we're gonna see how it goes. I have a lot of makeup to go through, probably gonna get rid of some stuff. So this is probably gonna be like a couple day process. I'm gonna like, get all my makeup into the drawers and see what types of organizers I need and then I'll get them at some point and film for you guys like once I get them like fully organized I kind of want to just get the drawers in here see what I can do we're gonna just take it like one section at a time like do all like the face stuff in one and then all the like eyeshadows I have a lot of palettes and stuff like that so we'll just see how it goes I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet so you're just coming along for the ride <laughs> so I just got the drawer in here and I realized that this carpet is gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to figure something out there. Rug thing, you're gonna have to just sit there and wait. There's a random screw down here. I think this side, I don't know if you guys saw in my apartment tour, but this side of my like piece of wood right here that's covering the sink is like crooked. It's cause I knocked a screw out, so we'll have to deal with that. So I'm thinking for this side, I wanna put like, like what I get to the most. So I'm thinking like eyeliners, mascaras, lashes, like eyeshadows some of the palettes because I might I still have like I have like a palette holder that I really like so I might just keep that out for like my favorites but like palettes eyeshadows and then maybe in the bottom do um like my hair care stuff since that's right by the door to my bathroom and then on the other side I'll do all my like face products I want to put like my nail stuff in the bottom of one and then like lipsticks on the other side because I don't get to it as much this is gonna be like my main one that I love because that's all the stuff that I use all the time and love so this basket I was using to hold I have like my hairbrush in there because I use it every day makeup remover which can go somewhere else um, and then like smaller palettes because I have a palette holder like organizer but I ran out of space because I have too many palettes but I have like that one a really like awkward sized one i yes i have the conspiracy palette paid a lot of money for it before people got canceled i'm keeping it um and then all my like small like mini palettes that don't really have a home because they don't fit in the palette holder and then i have my really big james charles palette that is awkward and doesn't fit anywhere i have an acrylic like drawer case up there that holds all of my like eye stuff so in this drawer i have like all my mascaras crazy fun like colors of eyeliner this drawer has all of my eyeliners eyebrow stuff eyelid primers um some brow gels and stuff like that so this is my drawer full of eyeshadow jellies i became obsessed when um i got the morphe 2 ones jelly eye shimmers so those are the morphe 2 ones and then i got obsessed with this color pop collection these are the jelly much eyeshadows and I have every shade of the Morphe, every shade of the ColourPop. NYX came out with some around Christmas, so I have all three of those. And then just a random like ColourPop shadows in there because it fit the shape. So that's that whole drawer. And I want to find like a really cute like square container to put all these in. The rest of the stuff up here on um, this, oh, I should have shown you videos before I like took it all apart. Well, too late now. Maybe I can find photos or something. But um, this side was just like my big drawer full of like random stuff, like whatever I could fit in it. So the rest of the stuff up there is like face stuff, like contours, blushes, like stuff like that. So that side is done for now, getting everything out. Then on this side of my vanity, I had this little like random like office drawer organizer, kind of gross, but I didn't have any other organizers in any way to like store everything. In this top drawer, what do I start with? I always start with like an eyelid primer. I'm thinking that all of these are gonna go in there. So these are my um, liners, 
love that for me. These are my eyeliners, um, eye pencils, eyebrow brushes, eyebrow pencils, stuff like that. So these are gonna need to be organized better. <laughs> Once I can get containers for them, I will like organize them better. For right now, I'm just gonna throw them in and then these are all my mascaras and brow setters. These are all my like crazy funky eyeliners and eye glitters. Those are gonna go in there too. I bought this like kit of like um like festival stickers, like stuff that you see at like Coachella, like stickers for like your forehead and stuff. So those are just random stickers that have to go somewhere. So that drawer is good. This drawer, I think I want all of my like eyeshadow pods in. Um, I guess I could kind of talk to you guys about this. This is an Ipsy thing I got. It is the, oh, the shade is Queen B. Inmo Cosmetics. Inmo? I don't know, but it's really pretty and it works well. And then I have like random eyeshadows. I've probably had this for years. I should pitch it, but it's really pretty. It's LA Colors loose eyeshadow with like a little brush in it. So I'm gonna keep it. I have like Oriza Beauty, some random, Ipsy has like the most random ass brands I have ever heard of, ditto. Galaxy Shade, like a little like tester pod. And then I have like NYX eye, Jumbo Eye Pencils. I think I'm gonna put that in this one. Pretty in Pink by Violet Voss, like random eyeshadow pods that I've gotten from Ipsy or like just little samples and stuff like that. So I just all, I just kept them all in a drawer and I never really used them. I have like some Maybelline and CoverGirl pods. I'm forcing myself to pitch this. I don't think I've ever used this. It's like some random like Milani eyeshadow pencil that I've never used. And then in this one, I'm gonna put all my small eyeshadow palettes and the ones I don't use a whole lot. And then I'm gonna keep my favorites up on my actual desk. So I have the mini controversy palette from Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Spent a lot of money on it. I'm not pitching it. The shadow is really good and I still like it. Watch my get ready with me video and I, I I have like, I go on like a whole tangent rant about how I feel about this whole situation. <laughs> and then also I think a controversy, I don't really know, but Huda Beauty, I don't know what happened to her or what like T is with that. It's just a little like thing I got from Sephora because I wanted like really bright shadows and it was like my first palette that I bought. like. A tiny like mini I don't know it was the first one I bought that had a bunch of bright colors in it so I just still keep it so those are gonna go in there I have the NYX ultimate shadow palette don't really recommend there's definitely better shadows out there but just for like random ones to play with it's pretty nice it's not like the best formula and then I think in this one I'm also gonna put my no I really like this palette I'll have to rethink that but I just got the revolution um, Makeup Revolution London, what's the name of it? Forever Flawless Birds of Paradise palette. And it is so good. I've never used Revolution before, but I was doing like this makeup look and I didn't have any of the shadows that would work for what I wanted to do. So I literally just went to Ulta, found this, bought it, and it's so nice. So I'm actually probably gonna keep that up there. All right, James Charles palette's going in there. Jeff, uh, Shane Dawson palette. This palette that just fell out of my hand. It is a $10 palette from Walmart. It's called Sunkissed. I don't recommend it. Like, it's okay. It got me through, like, when I was first buying makeup, like, a couple years ago. Like, I just recently got into, like, really getting, like, practicing eyeshadow and eye makeup. Some of the shades are really good, but some are really bad. It's definitely, like, hit or miss. Um, so I'm gonna just put this down here because I don't use it a lot, but some of the glitters and the metallics are good. And then let's just keep going through these. Sephora highlighting palette, I'm gonna keep that up on top because I use it like for every single look. Um, the Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, this is one of those packs I was telling you guys about. My camera's about to die. But this is one of those packs, it's like, it was from Wet n Wild. They did a like fantasy makers um, like festival line last year, last summer when COVID hit, so I was super pissed and I just bought a bunch of it even though I couldn't use it last summer. I'm so upset, I'm so upset. And now I gotta change my camera battery, so I'm gonna grab the other drawer while I walk to my office. <laughs> so I have this palette holder that I bought from Walmart and I thought it would be good to like stack palettes on, but then once I got it in my room, I realized how many more palettes I actually have than this. And most of them don't fit in here, so let's take the cute ones that fit like decently in this to make it actually look nice up there and then we'll put all the awkwardly shaped ones in the drawers 
So like I was saying before, I really like the Revolution one, so I'm gonna put that at the front. Maybe, we'll see how this all works out. And then I have the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. It was like one of the first Morphe palettes I got because it was like so small. And I think these are only like $16. Um, and then as you guys saw in my Get Ready With Me video, I have the Pumpkin Spice by Too Faced palette. Not sure the controversy with Too Faced. I feel like in the beauty industry, there's gonna be controversy with everybody. So I'm just gonna buy whatever the hell I want. And that's that one. And it fits with this as well. So we're gonna put that there. Like I said, Soft Glam is gonna go in there as well. The first eyeshadow palette I ever bought, I wanna say two years ago, so it's still nice, um, was the Tardius Pro palette by Tarte. I didn't know if that was the name of it. Yeah, Tardius Pro by Tarte. It was literally, like I said, the first palette I ever bought. I love the shades in it, it's so nice. It's just a bunch of neutrals because I was too scared to work with color. So this one is also gonna go in the drawer just because of the shape of it. And then my last two, yeah, my last two palettes that I have is the Jeffree Star and Androgyny palette. I'm not gonna keep saying it. I know the controversy, please don't cancel me. My old manager at my first job bought me this for Christmas and I love her so much and she knew that I was getting into makeup and that I like makeup and I just can't throw this away. Like this is just like, she was so sweet to buy me this so I'm not pitching it. I'm gonna put it in my little palette holder. And then we get to this one. Not gonna show you the front. Um, this is a little palette that my ex-best friend bought me for my birthday. And it's a personalized palette and all the shade names in it are like, the shades are really pretty. Um, I'm gonna try to not show the front because the front of it is a picture of me and my two friends, like my best friend Lauren that you guys know and then the girl that bought me this. Not trying to be like shady, no tino shade. This is literally like the best gift anybody's ever got me. It just happens to be that we aren't friends anymore. So shit happens, life happens, it's fine. But I'm still keeping the palette because the shade names are so sweet. Like it's so cool. There's like Corpse, because I love Corpse Husband, Sam and Kobe, LAX, White Claw, like just the funniest names. And the shades are really pretty and they work really well. I have no idea where this is from. The back of it's blank. And then, like I said, on the front is a picture of us. So I think what I'm going to do is, like, keep this palette, but just paint over the front um, and, like, paint, like, a cute design of something I like just because I want to keep it and it works well. So we're going to put that in the palette holder as well. Um, so I remember to do that. <laughs> Big yikes. So let's move over. I'm going to move you guys to see the other drawer and we will work on putting, like, face stuff in there and just see what else we're gonna do. I grabbed everything else off of the top and in that little break I kind of like organized it and figured out what I wanted on top to see how much stuff I had to fit in the bottom. This one I'm gonna do on my face powder so I have my airspun setting powder. So then in this little drawer right here I had all of my um, like face powders, like blushes, a lot of blushes. I have a Cover FX setting powder that I've never tried. I have my Milani blush that I use all the time, a Revlon color stay. Pressed powder, what is this one? Translucent, like just setting powder that's almost gone, kind of gross. And then I have just a bunch of like small blushes. All of these are uh, things I've gotten in my Ipsy. I hope when I close and open these, they're not gonna like move. Oh, I forgot about all these. I'm gonna have to get a container for these. So I have this little collection of um, Benefit, all the different face ones, like Hoola, Hoola Light, Gold Rush, California Blush, Dandelion Blush, Rocket Rocketeur. Like all these little, it came in like this big pack for like 25 bucks. And it's like little minis of every single one of their like face products. So I bought that to try them all. I like them, I think I've used the bronzers. I forgot about these. God, maybe this is a good video to do because now I see all the shit I have. So those two drawers are done. Oh, I want to use one of these drawers to put all my Ipsy bags because they're just sitting up in my closet and it's really annoying. So that's going to happen. I have my lash curler, my tweezers, and my eyelash glue. So I'm just going to put that in this drawer and also find a little container for that. Those in there. I have another pair of Kiss ones. These are so flirty. They're a little bit thicker than the ritzy ones. And I like these when I do like bigger looks. Those are more like natural, like everyday wear. So that's it for lashes. And then let's do, actually right below the two face drawers, I'm gonna put my um, Pond's makeup remover cause I use that every day and I don't have room for it in my bathroom. 
And then I have this like box of face masks that I never do because my face doesn't like face masks. But I get a bunch of them in my Ipsy and like a few of them from like friends here and there. And I got this box a long ass time ago, but it's just cute and it says face, face tree on it. Um, so I'm just gonna keep it and use the box to hold face masks that I'll probably never wear. So we're gonna leave that in there and then I'm gonna put my makeup wipes in there as well. So now let's do lipsticks, nail stuff, Ipsy bags. And then I still have one open one over here. So that will work. So for lipsticks, I'm not a big like lipstick person, but I started to just collect them over the years from either Ipsy or getting them at like Sephora just to try. Um, so we're gonna keep them and I'll organize them better when I get those little like containers. So now we're gonna do all my nail stuff. This might take a second, but I'm gonna try to go quickly. So basically, oh, my foot's asleep again. Okay, so I like press on nails. I think I've said it so many times. They come in these little packs. Highly recommend Kiss brand. I love I love Kiss brand nails. I hate any other brand of nails. So I just have like a few packs on hand in case I break a nail, want to change it up. I bought limited edition Halloween packs to use next year. That's how crazy I am about nails. Love that for me. All right, so it is day two of reorganizing and just cleaning my vanity and showing you guys my collection. Um, I'm about to go to the gym and then run to the store super quick to get all the organizers that I was talking about um, last night, I guess, or in the previous clips. Uh, so I thought I would show you guys what I ended up doing. I literally took out everything that I did last night. Like, I'm glad we got it organized and like figured out what drawer was gonna be what, but I thought this would be the easiest way to kind of see and figure out what containers I needed. So I'm gonna show you real quick. It's like all just laying on my floor, but I kind of just organized and sectioned out what was gonna be in each container so I could figure out the sizes. So let me show you real quick what I did. Okay, sorry the lighting is kind of funky. I don't have my ring light on in here. I just grabbed the camera super quick because I have to get to the gym. But this is what I did. This is like a little overview. I basically just took out all the products and like sectioned them off. So like that is just lip gloss and then liquid lipsticks, highlighters, you know what I mean? So I just sectioned it all off. I have all my like different types of eyeliners, eye pencils, mascara, but each section is gonna be its own container. So like I need to get like one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six like different types of containers for all my eyeliners and then like little squares and like different sizes for these things, probably little tiny squares for those. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to the gym, go to the store, and then I will be back to continue this little organization video. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so it is day two. I know I had the little clip of me showing you guys all the crap on my floor, um, but I just got back from the gym and from getting, like doing dinner, getting groceries, you know, all that stuff. And I ended up spending a lot more money than I thought I would on the containers, but that's fine because it's gonna turn out super cute and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna just show you guys the different like sizes I got and then I'll probably do a time lapse of me like actually putting it all in and putting it in the drawers. So let's, why was that one heavier? Oh, I still have my water bottle in here. <laughs> I got a bunch of these. I literally sat there at the store for like 20 minutes planning it out. I had taken pictures of all this stuff and I just sat there trying to figure out what ones I wanted. So I got, I wanna say three, one, two, three, four, five, like six of these, six or seven of these um, for all the like longer like eyeliners and stuff like that. And then I got two of these little guys. I thought these, these are like sectioned off like containers. So it's just one container, but there's three sections. So I think I'm gonna use one for lipsticks. I think I'm gonna use this for like all of my lip products. All of the containers I found have little like rubber grips on the bottom. So I'm so excited and rubber in the like inside of it. So I'm super hyped. And then the only other ones I got is like a little square one that I think I'm gonna try to fit like nail stuff in. And then I got three of these like big rectangular ones that have the grip on it as well that I'm gonna put all my face products in. All 
Alrighty guys, so we are done with my vanity and I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough just quickly because you guys saw everything already. Um, but I'll just kind of talk about some of the other things and how I ended up organizing it. As I started putting the containers in the drawers, I didn't measure the drawers before getting them, before getting the containers because I just don't roll like that. I just play by ear, you know, see how it goes. So I had to do a little bit of more reorganizing once I started putting stuff in, but it worked out. I like the way it turned out and I'll work with it. And as my collection grows, I can change it up. So I'm super excited. So let's just walk through what is on the top. I think I cut it out of my apartment tour because I talked about it forever, but this is a ring holder that my mom and I made together. It is a DIY project. And basically this is like an old frame that we got. And then the little um rows are nerf bullets my brother has an insane collection of nerf darts and we cut them to size and hot glued like velvet like material around it and made it so it works so that's my little ring holder and it's just hanging on the wall right there and then I have my um, jewelry organizer so these are just like a bracelet holder I have some earrings on there like big hoops and then my necklace holder these are both from Walmart a little ring holder that holds like the big rings that don't fit and my little like necklace pieces and there I think I got that from like the dollar store honestly and then these this is my brush collection which I think I mentioned in my get ready with me but I got the James Charles brush kit so I just keep them in there and then another little probably dollar store or Walmart like pencil holder and then I put my beauty blender because I didn't want it like out like stuck in a drawer I feel like it needs to get air and like I don't know so I just left it out and then this is a mirror I got from Ikea it's supposed to light up but it's kind of a piece of junk low-key pissed um maybe I just need to change the batteries I don't know but it's there and it's supposed to light up <laughs> and then this is a palette holder I got from Walmart and like I said I just put all the ones that are kind of the same size and my favorites out on display and then this is also a little like um acrylic container that I got from Walmart and there's little sections in each of it and then another cup in the middle so all of my face brushes are in the cup in the middle the this is like face masks um my little like roller and then this is all like skincare stuff like acne cream my moisturizer and then I have my Cetaphil and CeraVe moisturizers and thingies there setting spray in the back foundations on this side because they didn't really fit in the drawer and I didn't want them like laying down I wanted them standing up so they're still out so that is that and then this is like an overview I got my stool I figured out how to, the rug is kind of not working it doesn't fit horizontally it was vertically before but I'll work with it I'll try maybe I'll just need to get like a smaller rug um, and then on this side this is kind of like my eye like eyeshadows eyeliners like eye stuff and then that side is like face stuff and like lashes and nails so in this top one um, like I said I didn't measure these so these all like these vertical like long ones that I got like eight of them don't all fit only two of them fit like three of them wouldn't fit in there so I just ended up using one of these big containers <laughs> let me focus you in I ended up using one of these big containers and just putting all my eyeliners in one and then all my eyebrow stuff in this one there's room in the back for like another square container but I think this works for now I have room to grow and then I just put my mascaras and other stuff with my lashes because I think that works anyway this one is all my eyeshadows I ended up being able to fit these two containers right there I have space in the back but these are all my like little eyeshadow pods these are like jumbo pencils mini little pencils and like random stuff and then this is all my eye jelly eyeshadow jelly collection this one is those big palettes I was telling you about and some small ones in the back that I don't reach for as often same with those two of my biggest ones that is an empty one I didn't notice that but I guess that one's empty and I have room to grow and then down here I just have those two extra containers some like stickers and then my brush cleaner in the other drawers I'll just go through these quickly as well this top one has all my face stuff this is my um, setting powders concealers pressed powders and then this back one is all of my contour bronzers and blushes and highlights and then I have my travel container for my beauty blender oh no I pulled this out too far frick frick got it okay all right everything's fine this I'm so excited about I wish I would have just got a bunch of these and like I wish more stuff would fit in there um, but this is the little lip drawer these are um, lip crayons and lip tints and then lip scrubs 
chapstick, lipsticks, liquid lips, and lip gloss. And these two fit and they're perfectly. I love them so much. Um, some of the bigger like lip sticks don't fit horizontally so they're kind of just sitting there but it works for me this is just some like face stuff ponds makeup wipes and face masks this is my little lash one I had to use one of the other containers so I couldn't keep the lashes in a container so they might slide around but I don't really mind and then these are mascaras glue curler and tweezers and stuff like that and this one is my nail one I love it so much because I didn't really have a space for it up top and like before the way I organize it I love it so much so I just have all my sets <laughs> what are these like the boxes of nails like the kiss nails um, I just have them lined up there this one I'm hoping will like kind of hold them there because it has grip on the bottom so these are just a bunch of nail glues and files this is my good file clippers and like nail polishes and then a container in the back for all my like extra nails and then this one has all my ipsy bags in it so that about does it I think that's about it and then I used hold on actually I'll set you guys down for the outro so I used some of my old containers to organize stuff in my bathroom I'm not gonna go over it just because it's kind of boring it's like little random things um, but yeah so I'm super excited with how it turned out I think it looks so nice it's so like clean and put together there's not as much like just sitting out on the desk which I really like I don't have to look at uh, look at it all um, but I like the way that my office is set up now I think it opens up my office it makes this space look cleaner so I'm really glad I move these drawers in here and I like the way I reorganize my office all my like art supplies and everything is like organized really well so I'm super excited I love the way it turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already and turn on my post notifications so you know when I upload a video gotta get all that out there I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you next week bye Whoa.